Okay, hey, how's it going? My name is Dylan. Welcome to my channel. Are you shooting video with an iPhone and having issues with Final Cut Pro? Because I am, it's driving me berserk. I'm shooting on an iPhone 11 Pro Max and I'm editing a Final Cut Pro 10. Recently, I was working on a project of mine and I was having issues with playback and also with the export failing at the end of the project. So if you jump into Final Cut Pro, you can see kind of what I'm talking about here. You get in these black screens, and then whenever you're exporting the file, every export is getting this share failure. And I've looked into it and couldn't work out what it was. I looked around the net, tried to find an obvious solution for it, could not find it. After a bit of reading, I came up with a workaround. I wanted to share that with you. So to break down what's happening, Apple phones are now defaulting to a thing called HEVC, which is High Efficiency Video Codec. It's a new codec similar to H.264 that we're used to, but it's got a lower bit rate and it's supposed to improve things like streaming. They've also adjusted the format on their photos to an HEIF, which is High Efficiency Image Format, pronounced HEIF, which is a horrible word. Now you can change those settings on your phone so this doesn't happen the next time around. If you go into your settings, down to camera, and into formats, you can see High Efficiency, or most compatible. If you pick most compatible, it's gonna go back to JPEG and H.264. If you leave in high efficiency, it'll use these new codecs. So, if you've already shot it and it's in that codec, you can't go back and change it, but you can adjust it. And this is a workaround using QuickTime. Now, if you're shooting in 4K, you might need to buy QuickTime Pro for this. Alternatively, you could probably re-export these clips from your phone using something like Adobe Premiere Rush or Splice or something like that, but we're gonna do it this way for now. So you can see when you jump into Final Cut, these are the black playback issues that I'm having. So I've isolated these clips just for reference point. Still having the same problem. Sometimes they play, sometimes they don't. I find more issues whenever I drop a baseline correction on top of them. I'm gonna open each of these files in QuickTime and you're gonna export as 1080p. Remember what I said about the 4K thing. I'm only using a 1080 timeline, so this works perfectly for me. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new folder called Phone2. Effectively, I just want a duplicate folder of this. And I'm gonna save those in. You're gonna to have to do it to each clip that you've used. You'll notice here on the, on the export, there's an option to check the box, use HEVC, don't check that. If you do that, it's gonna just use the same codec as you've already got and the problem's just gonna carry on. So I'm gonna keep going through each one of those clips. Okay, so once they've all exported, you're just gonna to need to replace those files. So for me, because I wanna keep the originals, I'm gonna create, I'm just gonna change phone to phone extra. I'm gonna change the phone to folder. It's a phone. So effectively what happens here is Final Cut relinks the files and suddenly playback's fine. So now when you go to export this, master file test was successful. So there you go, that's a quick workaround using QuickTime to fix that compatibility issue with the HEVC format on the phones and Final Cut. You think iPhone and Apple being owned by the same people, they, that, would have, that would have been fixed immediately. But I don't know why it isn't. It's not the perfect solution, but it'll do for now until that issue is solved. Anyway, I hope that video has helped you if you're having a similar issue. If you have another solution, I'd love to know if you dropped it below. Go take a look at some of my other videos if you're, if you're interested in seeing what I normally get up to on the channel. And if you like it, hit the subscribe button. Thanks very much for watching. I'll, I, I might catch you in the next one if you stick around. Good luck with your Final Cut files. Codex, huh? Who needs them?